is going on guys got another keyboard lighting video for you but first I have just a couple of announcements to make first I just want to give a huge shout out to one of my viewers why Liam who explained Dropbox to me and I just want to thank him so much and you guys should thank him as well because of why Liam I am now able to add links to the descriptions of all my videos and you guys can download my designs straight from Dropbox Second, I also wanted to tell you guys that I just recently revived my old Razer Death Adder Elite gaming mouse. So now I'll be able to put some keyboard lighting on my mouse as well. So along with my keyboard lighting videos, I will also have lighting for Razer mice. So without further ado, this video is about a Galaxy design on your Razer keyboard. So this design request actually came from a few different people. First one coming from a normal human who has two doggos. He said, can you make a Galaxy keyboard? Would be much appreciated. Also, just a few days later from Jorcraft, hey, your video is really great, and I wonder, can you make the Galaxy effect for Razer Synapse 3 tutorial? And as a comment on normal human who has two doggos, Dylan R6 also says, yes, please. So it sounds like you guys really want a Galaxy design. So grab your keyboards and your mice, and we're going to get right into it. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this Galaxy design. Upon doing a Google search, this picture right here is what I found the most interesting. So that's what we're going to base our Galaxy keyboard lighting design on today. And I'm just going to pull up this image so that we can look at it as we go here. I'm just going to pop it on there like that. And we're just going to get started. And right now we're going to go ahead and start off with a static. So select whatever layer you have here. And we're going to change this to a static just like that and we're just gonna start off with like a really really dark blue to kind of set our background here I'm gonna make it kinda of like a really dark purple something like that I'm gonna drag it down so if you wanna know what my hex code is it's 010008 dragged it way down on the bar here and I'm gonna hit save so now by looking at the program it looks like I didn't add any color at all but if you actually look at this video that I'm going to show right here, you can actually see there's quite a bit of light on your keyboard. It's just going to be a dark background, and so this is just our base. All right, guys, so now that we have our base colored down, what we're going to do is we're going to add a wave layer. So come down here to the bottom left, click on wave. So that keeps our static here, and it adds a wave layer. And what we're going to do is we're just going to start with the color blue. With this wave selected, I'm going to start to select some of the blue areas so I'm just gonna hold control by holding control you can select multiple keys individually I'm just gonna hold control and I'm just gonna start selecting the blue areas and this is going to be the dark blue area so we're just gonna select this lower left half of the keyboard here just like I have it and we're going to go ahead and start our wave what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to select this pattern the seven I'm going to space all my nodes out so they're all even. <clears throat> and I'm just going to start in the middle and I'm going to go with a, uh, a really dark blue, dark, dark, dark blue, something like that. And I'm going to copy this hex code. So if you want to know the code, I got 04050D as in Delta. I'm going to select those. Hold Control, Tap C to copy that. So now that we have this code copied, we're going to paste it in the second node here. Control V to paste it. We're going to come over here to the second to last one, and we're going to paste the code in there as well. Now that we've done that, we're going to click on our first node, and we're going to paste the code in there as well. But after we paste it in the first node, we're going to slide this gradient up a little bit to brighten up the color a little bit. What this is going to do is just going to kind of add a little bit of movement to the dark blue area. And once we move up our brightness a little bit, we're going to copy this code. I got 0 alpha 0 delta 2 1. 
I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in the third one, the fifth one, and the last one. So what that did is it just made this really dark um, blue gradient, but it kind of goes dark and lighter, dark and lighter, and dark and lighter, just slightly, just to add just a hint of movement. I'm going to change my angle down and to the left, just kind of going away from the middle of the keyboard. So as you can see in the preview here, I'm going to hit save. You can see in the preview, there's a little tiny bit of movement in your keys over here. So what you do now is make sure you have this wave selected. Select one of the keys you've changed with the dark blue. Control C to copy your effect. And what I'm going to do now is just go to the upper right side of my keyboard and kind of do the uh, dark blue that's up in the right side there. So um, now that I have this copied, I can select off of it. I'm going to hold control once again and I'm going to select some random keys in here to uh, represent some dark blue somewhere in there like that. I'm going to hit control V to paste it in there and now I can change the angle on this over this way away from the center of the keyboard and it won't mess with the previous keys that I've already created on the left. So I'm just going to change that angle outward a little bit just like that and hit save. Same thing with the very right over here. I'm just going to select this enter key, hit control V on it, and just once again angle it away just like that, hit save. So I think that's going to do it for the dark blue. And now I'm going to move into the dark purple that you kind of see in the center to the top left of that picture. Before I do that, I'm going to right click on the wave I created first, rename that to dark blue, press enter, and then I'm going to go ahead and add another wave layer down here on the bottom left. Let's go ahead and rename this right now, dark, red, hit enter, perfect. So with this selected, we're just going to hold control and select some of the keys in that dark purple area that you kind of see in that photo. Here I'm going to select my colors, my color gradient. So right now Razer has a bug where if you select this color gradient, it will not allow you to see the patterns here. To fix this, all you have to do is, and it's kind of a pain in the butt, but if you click onto the other effect layer like that and then back into your dark red, it'll now let you choose from the drop down what patterns you want. So I'm going to reselect my keys real quick. So I've reselected my keys, changed them up a little bit. So this is the current key selection I'm going with. And with these keys selected, I am going to click on my drop down and I'm going to do this once again. I'm going to choose the uh, multicolor pattern here, even out my nodes a little bit. And I'm just going to select the center node and I'm going to choose a really dark red or purple. The color I have here is 0 Delta 030 Foxtrot. Okay, we're going to copy this code, Control C, and once again, paste it in the second, fourth, and sixth nodes. So I'm on the second, Control V, I'm on the sixth. Control V. And once again, we're going to go to the first node again, paste it in there, and then just slide up our gradient a little bit so it's a little bit lighter. Just like that. And we're going to copy this code. If you want to know what color I have here, I have 210826. We're going to copy that. I'm going to paste it in here paste it in this one and paste it in the last one just like that so you can see I have a really dark purple and we're gonna move it away from the center of the keyboard I'm gonna angle it up at 304 leave the speed at 15 that's probably okay you can change it if you want in fact I think I will change it down to like 11 make it a little bit different than the blue 
and we'll go 10. Something like that. Save. So now you can kind of see on my keyboard, I have some really dark blue movement away from the keyboard and some really dark purple movement also away from the keyboard. All right, guys, now that we have our dark colors done, we're going to start moving into a little bit lighter of the same colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add another wave layer. Click on that wave layer. We're going to right click this, rename it light blue. Okay. So now that we have our new light blue effect layer created, let's go back and click on our dark blue, select a dark blue key, hit control C to copy it, go back to light blue here, make sure you have light blue selected, and we're gonna go ahead and select some of the keys that we're gonna make a lighter blue, okay? So here's our blue, lighter blue kind of keys. I'm gonna hit control V to paste those dark blues in there. And what that does is it gives us our color gradient, the same color gradient we made for the dark. And we're going to keep our lighter one. So the first, third, fifth, and seventh nodes are our lighter color blue from the first one. We're gonna change the second node to a more extravagant blue, something a little more visible on the keyboard. So I got my lighter color blue here, it's 04197 Delta. And I'm gonna go ahead and copy that code. And I'm gonna paste it in the fourth one and the sixth one. Just like that, that looks good. All right guys, so I've hit this point right now and I really don't like how fast or how busy it is. So I wanna slow all my waves down. All right guys, now that I've slowed it down, I think it looks so much better and much easier on the eyes. So I like the way this looks here with the lighter blue. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. Control C to copy, and I'm gonna select a few keys over here to brighten this area up. Hold Control, select some keys over here. That looks good. Control V and I'm gonna change this angle to go outward at one speed, that looks good, and I'm gonna hit save. All right guys, this looks good, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the light purple. I'm gonna add a new wave layer. Right click and rename this to light purple. Now that we've created our light purple effect, we're gonna go back into dark red. Oh, I just realized I made this dark red. I'm gonna go ahead and change that to dark purple. Okay. So dark purple, I'm gonna select one of our dark purple keys, hit control C, go back to light purple, start selecting some of my lighter positions here, something like that. So that's gonna be my really light purple. I'm gonna hit control V. We're gonna do the same thing with this one. We're gonna keep our lighter colored nodes and we're going to change our darker ones to a color that fits our need here. So I'm gonna leave the first node alone, second node, I'm gonna change it. So I've changed this one to 781 Charlie 8 Charlie. I'm gonna copy this code and I'm going to go to the fourth one, paste it in, that looks good. Sixth one, paste it in. Those all look good. Change my speed down to one. Since this color is basically in the middle of the keyboard, you can angle it at whatever angle you want. I'm gonna angle it out to 31, kind of upward like that. That all looks good. I'm gonna hit save. All right guys, so we have one more wave layer to put on and it's gonna be the white. So it's gonna be that kind of cloud of white you see in the bottom middle of the keyboard. So we're gonna go ahead and add a wave layer. We're gonna rename this to white. And we're gonna select some of our keys in here in the middle. And I'm once again gonna choose the multicolor. Space out my nodes in here, just like that. Okay, so once I've selected my multicolor pattern, what you want to do to be able to see the layers below is you want to click on this first node and you wanna make it, you wanna select this checker box here. What that does is make it invisible. So I have an invisible node here, here, here and here, just like that. 
and the nodes between the invisible ones, we are going to make a white color. So my hex code is 707070. Copy that code, paste it in the fourth one, paste it in the sixth one. So you have invisible node, gray, invisible, gray, invisible, gray, invisible. And before we hit save, we want to make sure our speed is at 1, our angle is at 90, and hit save. And just to mix it up a little bit and change kind of the pattern, I'm going to select a few of these keys in here just like that and I'm gonna angle these ones a little bit differently I'm gonna angle them up at zero just to kind of mix up our white in there a little bit and I'm gonna hit save and then there's just one more effect layer we need to add to finish off this design and that is the last but not least starlight so we're gonna click on starlight uh, once our starlight is selected we're going to select all of our keys, including a razor mouse, if you do have a razor mouse. And I'm just going to choose a white starlight to represent stars in my galaxy. So I'm going to go to a single color here. And I'm going to drag my color chart down here to the bottom. If you want to know the hex code, it's just all Fs. F, 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 F. Just like my report card in high school. <laughs> <laughs> I should not laugh at my own jokes <clears throat> now that we have our color chosen make sure your density is down all the way at one unless you want your keyboard to basically just be white and you can put it on whatever speed you want I'm gonna keep mine on medium so white color one density medium duration hit save if you have a razor mouse, what you're going to do is you're going to put all of these colors into it. So let's click on our static, select our highlighted key right here, select the enter key, control C, and let's paste it on our mouse, hit save. Now we're going to go click on our dark blue. We're going to select one of our highlighted keys, copy. And when we paste this, we're going to change our speed to 24. Now that we've changed our speed to 24, we can add a one second pause, hit save, go to dark purple, click a highlighted key, copy, paste on our mouse, change our speed to 24, two second pause, hit save, light blue, click a highlighted key control C paste on our mouse change it to four seconds three seconds change the speed to 24 hit save light purple select one of these highlighted keys copy paste on the mouse speed 24 Pause for four seconds. Hit save. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this one. Thanks guys. I'll see you in the next one.